So you want a quick and easy DIY to change or add Bible ribbons? Well, obviously my intro to this video isn't quick or easy, and I hope nobody minds me poking a little bit of fun at those Bible ribbon DIY videos. I actually watched some of them and they're all really good. But when I wanted to add some ribbons to my Bible, honestly, I was a little worried that if I used those methods, I would damage the stitching in my Bible's binding. So I just didn't want to mess around with my Bible's binding at all. So I kept looking and I found what is probably one of the easiest ways to add or change Bible ribbons. And that's what I want to share with you today. But first I am going to talk about why you might want to change or add ribbons to your Bible. Then I'll show you my simple solution and a little hack to make it usable for thin line Bibles. And for you DIYers out there, I'll share some things for you too. So let's go. Now, why would you want to change or add ribbons to your Bible? Well, if you, if you've had a Bible for a long time, the ribbons can get really worn out and you might want to refresh them. Or maybe you bought a Bible with short ribbons and you want longer ones, or maybe you don't like the colors and you just want to replace them with colors that you do like, or maybe you don't have enough ribbons and you want to add more. That's what I wanted to do. And the reason is, is because I was doing a 52 week genre reading plan where every day of the week you read out of a different genre of scripture. And I wanted a way to easily mark the different areas that I was reading, you know, from. Now, just as a side note, if you're new to reading the Bible, I do not suggest this plan at all. I made a video that covers different reasons why you might be struggling to focus on reading the Bible. And I talk about why you might not want a reading plan that has you jumping around a lot. So I won't go into that here. Instead, I'll link to that video down below and at the end for you to check out. But there might be reasons why reading from several areas of the Bible at a time and having multiple ribbons can help with that. So when I needed a lot of ribbons, I bought these. So this is a tab with multiple ribbons that fits right into the, the binding of your Bible. You can pick them up on Amazon for really cheap and I'll link to those below in the description. Now these are just under 12 inches and they're a little short for thick Bibles like my fire Bible, but that doesn't really bother me too much because it still works. But there are some on Amazon that are supposed to be 14 inches long and I'll link to those as well. Now those also slide into your binding and they have a sticky side that's supposed to hold it in place. But in reality, you do not need to glue or stick these in. They will not fall out. Now these 12 inch ones are long enough for these thinner Bibles like my in my thin line NKJV, but there is a little hack that you need to do to make these work because they're actually too fat to go into those thinner bindings. So what I did is I cut one end of the ribbons off and then I cut this um, tab in half. And then I just took box tape and I wrapped it around the leather, making it nice and tight so that the ribbons wouldn't slide out of the side. This way you have it nice and tight and it fits right into my thin line Bible. Now the reason that I added these to my thin line Bible is because I really didn't care for the color color of the ribbons that came with that Bible. But instead of trying to pry the old ribbons out of the stitching, I just cut them off. I mean, to me, that's a much less invasive way of getting rid of a, of a ribbon that you don't like. Now, if you really want long custom ribbons, you could just DIY this tabbed style of ribbons by taking a light card stock from something like maybe a cereal box and gluing your ribbons to the end and then gluing another card stock on top of it, kind of creating like a little cardboard sandwich for your ribbons, you know, to stay in place. Just make sure that you measure the width of your tab to make sure that it fits into your Bible's binding. And just remember, you do not need to glue these in. Now I have seen some DIY videos where they do glue them in, but honestly, these will not fall out at all, especially if you have multiple ribbons, because the ribbons that are tucked away in a holding another place of your Bible, they're going to actually keep it all in place. So no gluing is necessary. And this is a super safe, non-invasive way of adding ribbons to your Bible. So that's it. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on Bible ribbons. I love hearing your ideas. Now, if this video has blessed you, would you consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you haven't done so already? I really appreciate it. And it does help my channel out a lot. And it also helps me know that these videos are helpful to you. And it also helps YouTube know that as well. 
And don't forget to check out the video I mentioned earlier. It's on the end screen for you to click on, but I've also linked it down below. If you're watching this on your phone or tablet, just make sure to click that little more link underneath the title. So thanks for watching and I'll see you over there. Bye.